Europe is over. 15th Air Force's job in Europe is then all finished and your job is finished at the same time. You've all done a magnificent job over here. You've heard rumors you're going to the CBI, back to the States, to Austria, to Germany. Well, some of you heard that you're going to stay here in Italy. Well, I can tell you today what is going to happen to us. We're going back to the States. <laughs> Ordinance was only one of the many branches to know the immediate effect of the order to stand down and be alerted for shipment to the zone of the interior. It was probably the happiest order men of this 15th Air Force bomb group had ever received, and they relinquished their sidearms cheerfully. Screening process cleared the men quickly. Soldiers' records were checked. So was their physical condition. A lot of ills were cured magically when this line formed. Within a few days, the camp was well on the way to being disbanded. Crates were built and packed for shipment. Equipment was turned in. Junk was discarded. Even pinups hit the trash barrel. And the makeshift places the GIs called home for nearly two years came down. One week after the glad word was received, a truck convoy loaded with everyone and everything was on its way from Foggia over the mountains to Naples, the last staging area. Boarding the transport didn't take long. Everyone saw to it there was no snafu in this deal. Neither was there the big bon voyage they had been given on the trip over. But fanfare wasn't necessary. They could leave now with the satisfaction of men who had won a good victory. Their job in this theater was done. Some would go back to civilian life. Some would go on to take their experience and skill to the Pacific and hasten the defeat of Japan. But now, no matter what their later course might be, they were all going home.